A couple more, babe, then we're done. <sighs> Good, because my back is killing me. <laughs> you go on in, honey. I'll get the rest. Thank you, dear. I'll go put the turkey on. Stay away from that thing. It could be some Russian space missile. It's a baby boy! What do we do? I don't know. The army will be here soon. We can't give him to them. They'll test him. Morning, kiddo. You okay? Yep. Ready for your big day? Yep. I'm ready. What's the next train to Metropolis? In a couple hours. Why don't you just, you know, fly there? I want to save my energy. Plus, I have a lot of luggage. Okay, kid. Mom's made you some lunch. Thanks, Ma. No problem, dear. Now text me as soon as you get there, okay? Of course. It's not the first time I've been there, Ma. Oh, I know, but, you know, this is a big moment. I'll be fine. I'll visit every single weekend. Without fail? Without fail. Sorry, pardon me. You must be here for the job interview. That's me. Mr. White's in there? He looks tough, but he's cool. I'm Jimmy, by the way. Nice to meet you, Jimmy. Nice meeting you. Good luck with the interview. Come on in. Nice to meet you, Mr. Uh... Kent. Clark Kent. Ken, yeah, right. Sit down, Clark. Sorry, Kent, this, uh... This isn't a resume. It's a cry for help. Look, it says there that I was the top reporter for my school newspaper. Look, this is Metropolis. I need cub reporters, not just puppies. You come find me when you got some real experience. No, Mr. White, please. Look, I'm a really quick learner, and I'll do whatever you ask. I just need a chance. All right, fine. There's no health insurance or overtime. Not a problem. All right, kid. Try to keep up. Everyone in here is the most dependable friend the people in Metropolis have. You remember that. Uh, yes, sir. Stick with Lane. She'll show you the ropes. Who told you to wear a hat? Ignore him, though he can get box seats for the media. Do you like baseball? Of course I do. I mean, who doesn't like America's pastime, Miss Lane? It's Lois. What's your name again? Kent. Clark Kent. Never met a Clark before. The acts of manslaughter towards Marcy Mannheim by the hands of Ronald Luther. The jury find Mr. Luther guilty. Case closed. Guess the old man's gone, eh, Lex? It worked perfectly. Framing him for the murder of your father. You're a ruthless man, Luther. I don't know what you have in mind, and I actually don't want to know. I just want the stuff I was promised. A hundred thousand dollars in hand. I'll wire the rest into your account. You promised me two hundred thousand in hand. Either this... No, give us the rest. Unless you're willing to make up your mind. Then I'm afraid it is a done deal. Now if you'll excuse me, 
I have a company to run. Guess the trial didn't go so well? Luthor Corps is all mine. But the only trouble is that no one will be willing to believe in my company as long as my father's name is attached to it. It's also your name, Lex. A job is a job. It's better than working at that place in town. How much are they paying you? I'm not sure. It's a monthly rate. Good enough for me. Well, if you're happy, I'm happy, son. Did you take that thing your mother made? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I'll use it when I need to. I have to go. See you later. Well, I know you're busy. See you, son. These are for the new story Perry wants. Lionel Luthor. One of the richest guys in the world. He just got locked up for murder. What an amazing first story. Kent, I need you to do me a favor. Sure, Chief. I need you and Lane down at the Luthor Corp Expo. Apparently Lex Luthor has some big announcement. Miss Lane? Problem? No, sir. Not at all. Good. The Expo's in a couple hours. Get ready. Thank you for coming, everyone. I'm here to announce the official rebranding of Luthor Corps. After my father's case with the murder of Moxie Mannheim, we have decided to start fresh. So, as the first step of operations, I have decided to rebrand the company's name. LexCorp. With this rebranding, we will see collaborations with the United States government, the CIA, and many more potential clientele and grand opportunities for this great country of ours. With this collaboration with the military, it will help advance with weapons and medical research. The project shall be called Cadmus. You don't get stuff like this in Smallville, do you? Not really, no. It's relatively quiet. Where is it? What? My money, asshole. Bruno? Clark? You okay, ma'am? Um, yeah. I should have figured this as an eventuality, but this is Lolo. You know him? Yes. He's someone who wants to see my company go down. Well, someone once told me to surround yourself with people that want you to succeed, and then you'll gain success. What the hell are you? Some kind of circus freak? Someone who wants to help. That gun weighs 50 pounds of steel. How did you just punch it like that and not feel pain? I like to work out. And that onesie? My mom made it for me. <laughs> ah, I get it. You're like that freak in Gotham City, aren't you? I don't wear a mask. Good day, Mr. Luthor. Jesus Christ. Everyone listen up! We have the story of the century on our hands right here. Right here in Metropolis, we need to know more. Who is he? What's his name? What does the S stand for? What soap does he use? Get writing! What are your thoughts on this guy? I think he's doing good. A pretty swell guy. Really? Swell guy? You could do better than that, Smallville. We need a better headline material. He seems to be a hero. There could be more. More? What do you mean? He does this for a reason, every hero does, like that Vigilante in Gotham does it for justice. Maybe he just wants to help. Just wants to help? That's boring, we need to talk about it more. We? 
Yes, we were partners. Oh, right. What do you think the S stands for? I don't know. Stunner? Smart? Super? Super? Yeah. I mean, he is a super guy. He saves lives, stops crime. He seems to be quite swell. We need a headline, something with super in the title. Superboy? He ain't a boy, Clark. He's a man. He's a superman. That's it! Superman! Superman, eh? Got a nice ring to it. I agree. Do you want to grab a coffee at lunch? Sure. I'll pay for it. Of course you will, Smallville. What's that supposed to mean? The next Corp Expo turned to a terrorist attack by the group called the Intergang Club by dropped his very own Superman. I need a favor. What do you need? Research on him. The Superman. He's dangerous. Sen, what do I do? Find something to hurt him. Why him? He's a hero, Lex. A hero? He's a terrorist. The man is the might of Hercules, but not even he could fly! You can't hurt someone like that. It would take a nuclear bomb to hurt him, even that may even tickle him. Why him? Someone like him can't be trusted. There must be sanctions, restrictions on what he's capable of. Why hasn't the government even bothered addressing him as an issue? <sighs> Maybe because he hasn't caused any harm. Maybe he needs a test to see what he really is capable of. In the meantime, do some digging on our so-called hero. Why did you come work for the planet? Well, I needed a job. The planet was the only news company that would take me. Also, I have to help support my parents. That's sweet. I never took you for a family, man. I have to help them out. They're getting older, and it's harder for them to do farm work. I just wish my dad would retire, but he's so stubborn. I haven't spoken to my dad in years. What happened between you two? If, um... You don't mind me asking. I left him after high school. He was never the same after my mom died. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. She died of cancer because by all of that smoking, my sister left home not long after me. Wow. I'm sorry about that. Sorry, that was random. I've never really opened up to anyone before. Really? Yeah. We should get back to work. Yeah, we should. Here, Milo, come down. You okay? My cat is stuck in that tree. No need to worry. Thanks. No need to thank me. You should probably get to bed. It's getting late. I will. Thanks again. Why am I here? What does he want? He wants to talk to you. About what? A deal. Read the file. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you can collect double the money. He needs an answer by tomorrow morning. I'll give you my answer. Yes. Good choice. How was your first day? Good. I met someone. She's nice. Who is she? We're just friends. Her name is Lois Lane. Just friends, huh? <laughs> I've heard that one before. Really? I don't even think she likes me. Women will play hard to get. I didn't marry your mother overnight. 
I don't need a relationship right now. I've got enough on my plate as is. We saw a certain blue angel on the news. They've got a name for me now. Superman. Well, the name sure fits. I'm serious, Clark. You have to be careful. You don't know anyone's intentions. Your old man was in the special forces. He knows a thing or two. I know, Pa. I'll be careful. I promise. Hello there, Lex. You know why I've brought you here, yes? When I see the money, I'll agree to it. Also, those weapons, they sound like bullshit. What the hell? Weapons spawned out of your imagination. These are indeed powerful, Bruno. But I want to see if they are indeed powerful enough to harm Superman. Test them for me. Rob a bank, commit a minor felony, steal a tray of 40 cakes. I have other matters to attend to in the meantime. This is gonna be fun. Bruno Mannheim was bailed out last night. He wasn't placed on bail, though. Well, someone is very powerful and has connections. Who is he with? No clue. The cameras were cut and he was signed to release. Shit. This is gonna cause problems. A lot of paperwork. The person who cut the cameras was sloppy. They forgot to wipe the ones outside. A woman was found walking into the building. What's her name? Mercy Graves. Doesn't she work for Lex Luthor? She does. Coincidence? I think not. I'll have a word with Luthor. How much do we have? About 500 grand. We're only scratching the surface. Keep it moving. This'll teach the five families not to take us a joke. Sorry, fellas. I guess today isn't your day. Superman, I knew you'd come. That isn't gonna affect me. Advanced weaponry able to possibly take you out. Mannheim? Been a while, Supes. Screw you, Superman. You're supposed to be in prison, Mannheim. How'd you get out? I have powerful friends, Superman. Really? Who are your friends? Why would I tell you? I can help you, Bruno. I shall say nothing. Thanks, Superman. This actually helps with the case. Case? What case? Mannheim's escape. Has something to do with Luthor, I think. Lex Luthor? Yeah. I said nothing. Okay? You? I know you were behind the robbery with Mannheim. What else are you involved with? You're accusing me. Really? The police are looking into you, Luthor. You need to answer for what you've done. You are so pathetic. So what? I insulted you at your little show and now you're trying to pin this whole thing on me? Don't play dumb with me, Luthor. The cops have theories. I don't know what's going on, but you're behind this. I've done nothing to you. No, you haven't. You think too small, my friend. I've been studying you, watching you ever since the expo. 
The truth has been revealed. You're just a mindless god. I'm no god. I don't claim to be a god. I'm just someone doing the right thing. Trying to save this city. You're just trying to save the world, aren't you? Don't give me that cliché. There have been others like you who claim to use that catchphrase. Heroes from the past. Ever heard of them? No, I haven't. Heroes in the Cold War vanished overnight. They left us struggling. No heroes. No one to protect us. They didn't care about us. They just wanted all of the fame and the glory. Who are they? Read a book. Do some research. What's your point? My point is that you can't trust people. You need to have restraints. What if one day you decided to burn down the whole city? You could if you wanted to. And no one could stop you. I would never. I don't believe it. And there are more people who don't now go protect those people who do believe in me, if there are any Superman. A story about the inner gang is a big story, Perry. Especially with the Superman. Come on, Perry. Superman makes money. Fine. I'll print it. Great. Thank you both. You're an amazing duo. Nice one, Smallville. Yeah. Hopefully we get to share the byline this time. I gave you credit. I don't think saying my partner Clark Kent is credit. At least I printed your name. Sir, you have visitors. Send them in. Mr. Luthor, Officer Dan Turpin, and this is Inspector Henderson. Would you like a drink, gentlemen? No thanks. We came to ask some questions about Mr. Mannheim. Him? Why? He was bailed from prison without even a bail placed. We saw one of your colleagues enter Stryker's Island. Could be a pure coincidence. I don't think so. Your father killed Moxie Mannheim, correct? Mr. Luther, if you had anything to do with Mr. Mannheim, we can lock you away for a long time. Could you? I didn't... I didn't know that. Don't make it hard for us. Hard for you? It's much harder for me. What the... Please don't try to shoot me, Turpin. I could kill you with a single word. Really? Or better yet, I could ruin your life. Have you fired from the police? Or have your dear loving wife delivered underneath a cinder block? What? A little girl you have too. What is she? Six months old now? How'd you know? I knew the police were investigating me, Turpin. Especially you. I knew what you were up to. So I'm going to cut you a deal. You walk out of my office and say I'm innocent. Or you can report me, get fired, and I will kill everything you ever hold dear. Understood? Anderson? What about him? Taken care of. He was going to retire, so I made it easier for him. The police don't have to lose the money because of his pension, and I can get someone in a snap of my fingers to replace him. So do we have a deal? Mercy, take a trip to Bender Road, and you know what to do. Fine. I saw nothing. Good boy. How are things coming along? So much has been made. The radiation Mannheim used is perfect. 
it did a certain amount of damage. What is all of this? Chemicals. I've created two that could rival Superman. A drug that gives you the power to steal one's ability. Great start indeed. Let's hope to continue it. I found something in the Pacific. Its structure is unearthly. I think it's linked to him. Let's do this. Woohoo!